making his way to the ring, representing Croatia, Andre Kedvesh. Well, here in Frankfurt, Germany, Andre Ketvesh certainly not going to win any popularity contests, but he may win the respect of these fans here. A very talented young fighter from Croatia. Welcome his opponent, Germany's Enrico Kjell. These fans here in Frankfurt have literally watched Enrico Kale grow up and change from a boy into a man right before their very eyes. He's eight and one here in Mixed Fight Championship. He lost his first fight at the age of 18 years old and since then has gone undefeated. Enrico Kale currently under contract to 1FC, perhaps the biggest martial arts company in the world, where he has recently challenged Giorgio Petrosian to a rematch. But tonight, his star has never shined so bright like it does in Frankfurt, Germany. The Hurricane is back in MFC. The following bout is scheduled for three rounds of action in the K-1 Rules Kickboxing 72 Kilogram Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 178 centimeters and weighed in at 72 kilograms. His record, 18 victories opposite four defeats with six wins via knockout. Fighting out of Croatia. Andre AK-47 Kedvesh. His opponent awaits and fights out of the red corner. He stands 177 centimeters. His official weight 72.2 kilograms. His professional record, 49 victories, opposite 15 defeats with 29 wins via knockout. Fighting out of Germany, Enrico the Hurricane Kale. Your referee, Murat Edelkert. Well, this without a doubt, the most high profile matchup that Andre Kedvesh has had so far in his career. And for Enrico Kale, I'm sure it's just a thrill, as it always is, to be able to compete here in Frankfurt. I was at his gym, the Temple Fight School, just south of Frankfurt, for the weigh-ins and the press conference. Yesterday, ooh, Kale lands a big left. He comes out in that familiar southpaw stance. Kedvesh gets caught with another one. Ooh, and speaking of getting caught, Enrico Kale caught one right where the sun don't shine. Take another look. Ooh, oh my. <laughs> Oh my, that's uh, that's something that you don't just bounce back from. Here we go. Kale punishes him downstairs at the body. Oh wow, and he floored him. 
Kale, not over yet. Head kick. Oh boy, this is just, look at this onslaught of offense from the Hurricane. Whoa! Look, he stretched all the way out with that push kick to the face, and then he hit the canvas. Oh, he clocked him. Kedves just clocked Kale. Boy, we have got ourselves a fight here, folks. Look at these two just digging into each other here in round one. Spinning kick may have caught Kale in the shoulder, perhaps in the jaw. Crowd chanting Enrico. Missed with that spin kick and caught a leg kick in return. Half the time expired here in round number one. Kale going to work with the knees. Kedvesh giving it right back. Ooh, Kedvesh caught Kale upstairs. Another push kick, that time it lands into the rib cage. And a spin kick, he got all mixed up somehow with that. Low kick again lands to Kale, disrupted his balance momentarily. All over the place. This, this fight is all over the ring now. Whoa, my! A shot right at the same time as that slip, and Kale went very awkwardly down to the canvas. 30 seconds now remaining in this opening round. Kale had him in the full clinch there. Referee not saying anything about it. This one is under kickboxing rules at 72.5 kilos. It looked like he was about to throw a spinning technique there, but didn't pull the trigger. Now, wait a minute now. That shot may have been in the back of the head. Closing seconds, and that's it for a very hard round number one. Let's go back and take another look here at round number one. Enrico Kale caught a low blow. A crippling low blow. Andre Kedvesh, though, got his, got his licks in, though. His clean shots were landing as well. Kale was punishing his opponent. And we will see in a moment here what kind of shape these two are in once round number two opens up. Seconds out. Kale with some last minute instruction from his corner and opens up round number two very aggressively. Straight left down the middle lands. Look at these two trading shots here. Oh, he popped him on the chin. Kale found the chin and unloading now. Boy, it is literally like a hurricane in the ring. Look at this flurry of offense from both gentlemen. Kale busted the nose of Kedvesh. Ooh, and that thing is bleeding. Whoa, my! Spinning back fist connected from the Croatian. He ain't done yet. Doubled up with the knee. Another spinning back fist caught Kale. Blood is pouring out of the nose of Kedvesh. Kale may have hit him a little late there. Oh, he popped him with a right. Kale hit him in the nose and the just exploded with blood all over the place. A little bit out of range that time. Hale misses wildly. Low kick in return. He 
He goes flying across the ring there, slides under the bottom rope. Look at these two trading shots. Coming up on one minute now in round number two. Keep in mind, well, I think they clashed heads there. They're both come up holding their heads. The meeting of the minds. It's like crashing two coconuts together and you can see now there's some blood coming from the skull of Kedvesh. In addition to the blood coming from his nose, he is just a bloody mess at this point. Kale caught another low blow now. This fight is completely out of control. Clash of heads, a second low blow, and these kind of things happen when you've got a fight which is so passionate inside the ring and there's so much output and both guys just kind of throwing caution to the wind against better judgment maybe. Hale gonna suck it up and march on Inside 30 seconds here in round number two. Kedvesh comes out with a flying knee. Wow, what a shot. Perfectly timed, perfectly placed by Kale. And uh, the referee was thinking about maybe having that cut cleaned up, but decided against it. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh, man. Going to war. Time slipping away here in a brutal and taxing round number two. Well, in that round, we saw another low blow from Kedvesh to Kale. We also saw a, a clash of heads and uh, none of this is, is purposefully done. It's just that these two are fighting so wildly in there that it's out of control. Um, yeah, that was the clash of heads right there. They both came up pointing to their heads Seconds like, hey, out. what was that about? And then they both realized like, oh yeah, well we both felt it. Obviously, Kedvesh came out on the short end of the stick as far as that headbutt was concerned. Looks like whatever cut that there is is not uh, bleeding uncontrollably, though, so at least the fight will continue. Here we go, third and final round, and I still think anything possible here. Kale doubling up, tripling up with the knee, and still the referee not saying anything about the full clinch of Kale. Inside low kick scores from Kedvesh and a shot to the jaw. And now Kale's cut. Kale's cut under the eye right now. Kale's cut under the left eye. Oh my! Boy, these two really mixing it up here, holding nothing back. Kale, if he wins this fight, he'll pick up his 50th career victory. And if he can manage to knock out Kedvesh, he'll get his 30th career KO. I'm sure he would love for that to happen here tonight. You can see blood streaming out of both nostrils of Andre Kedvesh. There's blood coming out of his forehead. There's blood coming out of Kale's left eye. That was an elbow. That was an elbow that landed right in the face of Enrico Kale. Second one elbow, one minus. The second one elbow. Well, the referee claims that that's the second elbow, and so he's taken away a point now from Kedvesh. That's going to be detrimental to the scoring situation if this thing goes the full distance. Whoa! 
Half the time expired here in this third and final round. Oh, Kale popped him with that left hook. Ooh, he just let go of the leg and hit him. Referee warning him about holding that leg. Ooh, Kale crashes in the canvas very hard. One minute remaining now. Hedvesh was setting up for something, but didn't uncork it. Good knee on the inside, right in the liver, and he goes down. Hedvesh goes down from the knee. He's doubled over in pain right now. He gets up, though. Hedvesh wants to fight, and this thing will continue. Here comes Kale now. Kale closing in. Big left hand right down the middle. The Hurricane looking for his 30th career knockout, his 50th career win. Kevesh is in trouble. Spinning back fist by Kevesh. What a fight! A brutal and destructive three rounds between Kale and Ketvesh. Well, that was not a, a productive round three for Andre Kedvesh. He was docked a point for an illegal elbow. And then Kale hit the liver with a knee and sent Kedvesh down to the canvas. So you can guess what the scorecards are going to say. But this was the 22-year-old Andre Kedvesh's most high-profile fight of his career. And uh, I, I think he certainly exceeded expectations here, but I don't think he's going to get the win. World-class ring announcer Mike Markham is now entering the ring and will give us the official decision. Your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Enrico the Hurricane Kill. Well, he got half of what he was looking for. He got his 50th career victory. Did the Hurricane Enrico Kale, he didn't get the 30th knockout, but still I'm sure he's satisfied with his performance here tonight. It was a tough, tough fight for both gentlemen and a very fun one to watch. Joined by our winner, Enrico Kale. Enrico, congratulations. Impressive three-round performance against a very difficult Croatian fighter. Always a lot of support for you here in Frankfurt. First of all, hello, th Frankfurt. Thank you, all people, to come here to support me. I love you all. Thanks very much. But second, also very big, very big thanks to my opponent, Andre. He announced the fight three weeks ago. My opponent got an injury on his hand. So also, please, a very big applause for the young, strong fighter, Andre. Enrico, we know you fought on shows around the world in addition to here at Mixed Fight Championship in Germany. What's next for you? Um, first of all, I had now also one fight more at one, uh, one championship. 
the date is not clear yet, but I think we will fight again in February or March. And yeah, that's what's my plan. One championship. He will be get some fights. And I hope so. Maybe I got also this year my chance to fight for the one championship belt. Congratulations on outstanding performance in front of your adoring fans here in Frankfurt. Your winner, Enrico the Hurricane Cam.